In this tutorial, I'm assuming that you've already downloaded Truncate, DTT to DDS, Paint.net, and preferably you downloaded Krita. That's my program of choice, and you're going to be seeing why in a sec. The only swap I'm going to do is swapping Raiden's black custom body texture with his white one. Not a very uh, complicated change, but just for the purpose of this tutorial. Now open DTT to DDS. Don't worry about this horrendous UI. Just hit convert. Find the DTT you want to unpack. And when you do, all this data is generated. Now you don't need to worry about it, but this data is used to repack later, so don't close the program. If you do, you have to unpack everything again, and that's just inconvenient. So paint.net I use to convert my images from DDS format to PNG because Krita can't edit DDS images which is criminal in my opinion. Maybe you like paint.net but I like the, the uh, control that Krita offers me. I'm going to convert this texture as well. And open these up in Krita. Now the elephant in the room is that this texture is completely opaque, while this one isn't. Obviously Raiden's custom body is completely opaque in game, so uh, it's a bit of a mystery. Oh, let me head back a step. If you want to make your edits on a picture that looks like this, in Krita you can right click on this layer, split alpha, alpha into mask, and what that does is it separates all the transparent information from the rest of the image. So you can make this layer invisible, the transparency mask, and boom. You can make your edits, restore this mask, and actually let me show you why you should restore this mask later. If I convert this to a paint layer, I can show you just how much detail is here. All of this, uh, this texture here, this doesn't control opacity, it actually controls light reflections, or at least simulated right, light reflections. The white pixels represent opaque pixels, so of course the black pixels represent transparent information. So you might be wondering why all this texture, for lack of a better word, is on this piece, for example. That actually simulates surface imperfections of some kind. So, you know, fingerprints, maybe dents. If you don't have this transparent information in an image that originally had it, you're going to be losing some detail from your texture. So Make sure you hold on to this, or just rip it from another texture later if you have to. I almost forgot to mention that this is what it looks like if you don't reintroduce that transparent information. Right in suit has that information. So this is what it looks like if you have a completely opaque suit texture. Looks pretty bad. I'm going to convert this back to a transparency mask. I'm going to copy this over. <laughs> Funny I talk about that. I think this might have less detail because of all those things I mentioned. I'm going to paste that here. Thankfully I can just drag and drop this transparency mask. And boom. Just like the uh, black body. Now I'm going to split alpha right as alpha to combine them. And I'll save this image. Make sure you store alpha channel. And I have my PNG. Now I come back to paint.net to convert back to a DDS file. And this is where we talk about texture compression. So MGR uses either DXT1 or DXT5 compression for its textures. DXT1 <laughs> does not save transparent information. So if you have an image that has any transparent info, it's all going to be completely lost in DXT1. So if an image has any transparent info, obviously use DXT5. In either case, make sure you select Generate MIP Maps and the algorithm for that doesn't matter. Okay, I've got my altered ADS. The next step here is byte count because when we repack these textures, unfortunately, they have to be the exact byte count of the texture we're swapping. And that's where this truncate tool comes in. Open command prompt in the same directory as truncate and enter a command like this truncate.exe 
the name of the DDS file you're altering, and the byte count. And make sure you erase the commas too. Let's double check here that it worked. And boom, we're good to go. I just drop that in there. Of course, it needs to have the same name as the original. Then come back to DTT to DDS. Select this box that says DDS to DTT and convert. And that'll generate this file. You just get rid of that dot rust extension and you're good to go.